Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an intriguing question from a developer looking to load a JavaScript module inside JavaScript Core on iOS. They want to fetch a module via an HTTP request, parse it into a JS context, and ideally resolve any dependencies along the way. However, they've encountered some challenges with tools like RequireJS and Steel, and they're seeking guidance on how to achieve this in a pure JavaScript environment without relying on a browser or node. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To load a JavaScript module inside JavaScript Core on iOS, we first need to fetch the module's text using an HTT request. Once we have the module text, we can parse it into the JS context. This allows us to execute the JavaScript code within the context of our application. To handle dependencies, consider using a module loader like RequireJS or Steel. However, since you mentioned issues with RequireJS, let's explore alternatives. If you want to bundle your code, Browserify is a great tool. Make sure to configure it correctly to avoid dependency errors. Finally, if you encounter unresolved dependencies, check your module paths and ensure all required modules are included in your bundle. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Combining AMD modules with tools like Browserify or Webpack can be challenging. For instance, using Require with Browserify loads the main file from Node modules, while RequireJS uses a different path. This requires extra configuration for each package, making integration complex. To implement code splitting with Browserify or Webpack, you need to define a new entry point for your bundle. Then, load the bundle in your application using a fetch request. Currently, the web ecosystem lacks a unified approach for module loading, leading to custom solutions across different systems. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.